Former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson won the Libertarian Party's nomination over the weekend, but it didn't take long for Donald Trump to weigh in. Gary Johnson got 1% of the vote last time. I watched that whole situation. It was really pretty disgraceful. I think it's a total fringe deal. I think he's a fringe candidate. Your second, you know, weld is, when you do a little research on that, I think it's not going to be a factor. All right. Well, is Gary Johnson just a fringe candidate? Well, let's ask him. That's Libertarian presidential nominee Gary Johnson. Uh, congratulations on getting the nom. Thank you. And for once, I agree with Donald Trump. What's I, that? Well, I'm a total fringe candidate. I'm a Republican governor that got to serve two terms in a Democrat state. Gee, Bill Weld did the same thing. I supported uh, uh, gay rights. I supported a woman's right to choose. I um, espoused legalizing marijuana in 1999. I'm about as fringe as you can get. And you know, I'm as fringe as you can get, too, when it comes to immigration. Immigration is really a good thing. Let's not build a fence across the wall, a border. Let's not deport 11 million illegal immigrants. Yeah. Uh, guilty. He's right. Okay, so let's talk about uh, this year's nominating process, because it was much tougher than... In in 2012. In 2012, you were kind of a beloved uh, fringe icon, but this year you were more of a polarizing figure. Why was it more difficult for you, especially at the convention over the weekend in Orlando? Well, so uh, whether I'm in front of a Democrat audience, a Republican audience, or a Libertarian audience, I say the same thing. And so with regard to, uh, with regard to upsetting people, yeah. I, I upset people in all categories, but I do say the same thing every time. And what I say, I think, is very pragmatically libertarian. I mean, you've got to have your eye on the ball. Yeah. Less government, um, socially liberal, so fiscally conservative, socially liberal, and let's stop with these military interventions that... Uh, are making, um, making the world situation less safe, not more safe. All right, if you're going to make a, a big impact with Governor Weld on this election, uh, you know, you're polling at 10% before you got the formal nomination, you're going to need money. Now, Nicholas Salwark, who is the Libertarian National Committee Chair, says that you guys are reaching out to the Koch brothers through back channels. Uh, what sort of inroads have you made? And have you spoken to the Koch brothers about funding your campaign? Haven't spoken with the Koch brothers ever not aware of any back-channel communication with the Koch brothers. Are you interested in their money and their support? Well, I'm interested in anybody's support whatsoever. Kennedy, in my entire political career, I've probably been directly or indirectly responsible for raising about $8 million. If you compare that same figure to Bill Weld, it's more like a quarter of a billion dollars. Yeah. So I think Br Bill Weld is, is a big part of this. And yes, we do have to raise money. I just think it's amazing that we're sitting in the position that we're sitting in on several hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, uh, you, haven't, uh, you haven't really started making national inroads yet because you have a lot of independent voters who can't tell a libertarian from a librarian. You also have party purists who are not necessarily enamored with the ticket. Who do you appeal to? As the party's nominee, as the libertarian nominee, who do you appeal to? Those disgruntled party purists or the disgruntled independents who have been abandoned by Republicans and Democrats? Well, the appeal, I think, is to possibly 30 million Americans that are libertarian and that they just don't know it. So I get that. I mean, here, I've been given my walking papers. I am the nominee. Uh, Bill Weld is the nominee going forward. I, uh, back to this 30 million. Right now, I think 30 million people are wanting to understand what libertarian means. And at the end of the day, I think that they are. And again, I'll just come back to the broad brushstroke. Uh, fiscally conservative, socially liberal, yeah. and let's stop. Who do you hurt more? Who do you hurt more? Who do you think you hurt more, Hillary or Trump? At the end of the day, really, it's, it's equal from both sides. But in the polls where my name has appeared, yeah. uh, it's been more from Hillary than Trump. What's significant is, having appeared in three national polls, 10%, 10%, and 11%, is since my name has appeared in those polls, there have been 40 other national polls where my name hasn't appeared. So yeah. key to going forward right now is just being in the polls. Um, I think uh, our records, Bill Weld's and myself, holds up under the light of day, under the scrutiny that goes along with uh, being the nominees right now. Will you hold up in one of those big presidential debates with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton hitting you from both you know, sides? Uh, I think so, but, uh, but the, the opportunity exists. The opportunity unquestionably exists if yeah. my name will just appear in the polls because of just how polarizing the two of them are. And right now, 
Fifty percent of Americans that are registering to vote are registering as independent. Yeah, forty-four well, percent. Forty-four percent of overall uh, of registered voters say yeah, they are interested overall. in the third party. Are you guys that third party, and will you be president? Well, uh, yes, because we are the only third party candidates that are going to be on the ballot in all 50 states. Yeah. There's also this discussion about third party candidates. Look, if you had all the money in the world tomorrow, I don't think you could get on the ballot. I think it would be impossible well, to get on why, the ballot. Well, that's why Bill Crystal states. has not actually presented the independent candidate that he was teasing over the weekend. Well, Maybe he was talking about you and Governor Weld. Who knows? But congratulations on oh, the nomination. Thank you so much. You, yeah, you emerge the victor forward. from Orlando. So we'll see how your candidacy goes from here. Keep us posted. Thank you very much. Thank Always. You. Very good.